In this video, we're going to review the WooCommerce product filter plugin by WooBeWoo. Hi, my name is Stratos and I create video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. For me, this plugin is one of the best, if not the best, for filtering products inside WooCommerce. Even in the free version, it has a ton of features that you can use to filter your products. If you go into the website, which is the whobehoo.com, and you select plugins and product filters, you will see this page. I will put the link in the description below. And as always, all the links are not affiliate links. And if I scroll down, I will see here the demo. This is a working demo, so you can select whatever you want and see how it reacts. It will reload and it will rearrange all the filters to match the existing products that it's showing. So if I select here the mail, it will change the colors and it will change the categories and it will change the attribute buttons and whatever you, you choose here. The filters here will match the products that are appearing inside here. It also has a clear button and we're going to see how it works. Of course, this is the pro version of those features, but we're going to use the free and create a good uh, solution for our products. For the features, we have filter by price, by range, by categories, tags, and more. Pop-up filter, it says that it looks great for all devices. We have Ajax Live Search, fully compatible with Elementor and easy to set up and customize. And it's one of the best solutions also for uh, Gutenberg. So if you're not going to use any builder outside Gutenberg, then you can use this plugin and you can customize it as you want. Let's scroll down and we're going straight to the price. So we have a yearly price and a lifetime deal. The lifetime deal sets you on one side for 89 bucks, up to five sites for 149 and for unlimited 299. And of course, lifetime updates and lifetime support. And this is the yearly price as well. They have other solutions. So if we go into the Hubihu website, hubihu.com, and let's see the other solution that they have. They have, of course, the WooCommerce product filter. They have the WooCommerce product table, reward points for WooCommerce, WooCommerce Pro currency switcher, WooCommerce pop-up notification, WooCommerce product pricing table, WooCommerce product comparison. And that was all with the plugins. And if we go to the pricing, we will see that they also have a bundle price. So we have a lifetime deal for almost $600 for all the plugin unlimited sites lifetime updates lifetime support they also have those two prices the five sites for 249 and one site 149 and i think that for one price and for six plugins it's a fair price that you can pay for lifetime deal also they have a yearly solution so you can pay for uh, one site 99 up to five sites 199 and unlimited 399 per year they have a complete documentation that you can find in the website. And let's go to the website that we're going to work. Now, this is an Astra template and I have changed a little bit the categories. So I have add child categories and parent categories in order to uh, change the filters a little bit and see what I'm going to deal with. Now, let's start by installing here the plugin. Let's click add new for the plugins and let's search for WBW. I'm going to install the product filter by WBW. It was last updated 22 hours ago. And let's activate that. And now I can click into the settings that has here or the WooBeWoo product filter here. Once I click here, I can see that they have the overview, add new filter, show all filters and settings. Those are the same buttons here. So I can click add a new filter here. This means I add a set of filters that I can put with one short code or one widget. So if I type here product filter, product filters, I can add a bunch of filters that I can add as a block and I can put it with one short code. So I'm going to select here price and sort by. You can choose whatever you like here. And of course you can change everything later on. So I'm going to choose only these two and later I'm going to add more. So let's click create and it will create for me this uh, group. So I'm going to click save immediately. And as you can see, this is the short code that we can use. You can copy this short code and put it wherever we want for those filters to be appeared. Also, it has a widget. So let's go and add that widget appearances widgets. We're going for the WooCommerce sidebar. Let's wait for that to load. Okay, we have the categories. I'm going to leave those just for a comparison a little bit. 
and I'm going to remove it later on and the products by rating list I'm going to remove that and I'm going here and add the WBW widget also if you want you can uh, add the short code here and add the short code instead of that widget let's save that and let's close that and let's go back to the website and see what we have at this moment so here it will refresh and this is how it looks at the moment let's go and change how it looks so we have here the filters and all the settings are inside here and here is the preview page also we have other tabs that we're going to check later on to change the appearance and how it looks and also the uh, design and how it works let's start by putting the price the on the bottom so we have the short buy on top and price on the bottom you can see that the preview changed and keep in mind that in some cases it will take a while or you will have to press save in order to see some changes let's uh, click here in order to see all the settings for the short buy and these settings are only for the short buy every field that you add has a different settings depending on what you have added so uh, here the description is a title that you can add on top of the field so I'm going to copy that and put it here in order to see how it looks and I have to save that in order to see it and this is how it looks but I do like better the show title label and you will see why I'm going to put it as desktop yes show as open and mobile yes show as close and this means that I will have a title that it's clickable and it's collapsible so I can click here and collapse the filter so if you have more than two or three filters then you can collapse that which is great especially for the mobile phones so now that I have the sort by here I can remove that here so let's delete that and save just to refresh okay now you can see that you can show into the front end as a drop down list as a radio button or stylist drop down pro and this is a pro we cannot set that I'm going to leave it as a drop down and we have the default and popularity we have only two options here so we can remove the popularity and maybe add the prices price low to high how to low and name a to z and z to a if you want you can change the uh, order here by switching that on top or into the bottom and i'm going to leave it as there are here so you can see how it looks and that's all with the sort by field i'm going to collapse that and before checking the price i'm going to here select the filters to add and i will see that i have the price which is already selected so i cannot select it again I can only have one price into a block of filters I can have the price range but I cannot have with the price so I have to remove the price and select the price range and add it and I did that because I don't like really well the price range I'm going to change a little bit how it looks and then delete it to add the price okay so you can of course select the step if you want this is the uh, price range you can have it as a checkbox list or as a drop down and you can have it vertical or horizontal and select the minimum height in the front end i'm not going to change how it looks because i don't really like the price range but if you do want to add that in your website you can do that as well okay i'm going to select now the price again i'm going to add that and let's open that up yes so the title has opened for the desktop and for uh, mobile so it has closed filter scheme this is the default and all the other skins are pro and if you click somewhere you can see how it looks so it's uh, very well designed but it's a pro feature so i'm going to leave it as default then we have the symbol position which can be before or after this is the dollar sign and the uh, currency symbol can be as well currency code so it will change to a usd for us dollars I'm going to leave it as symbol then we have the text tooltip instead of input fields these are input fields that you can type the price that you want but if I change that there will only be uh, numbers that you cannot change just see I don't like that I would like to have something to input here so I'm going to change that and we're done with the price as well let's save that and let's go with the next one the next one will be product categories I'm going to add that and as you can see it doesn't say that it's already added so you can add as many product categories as you want so if you have custom categories uh, it will work fine and also this plugin can work fine with custom meta fields custom metadata and everything else so I'm going to open that and you can see that it has a ton of options here let's change that of course to yes as open and yes as close 
and here I'm going to see that it has the title that says product categories but I don't like the product I'm going to leave it like categories because I know that these are products of course these are products let's save that and as you can see uh, that changed here after that we have the uh, feature that says how we want those filters to be appeared so we have the drop down which is a single select multiple drop down which is a pro feature checkbox list which is multiple and pro feature buttons which is pro text which is pro so i'm going to leave it as radio buttons which i like then we have this show hierarchical so you can show the hierarchy of the products and you can see the parents and the children as well now, if you want, you can hide the categories, the parent categories, but I don't want in this particular example because I have jeans here and jeans here because these are men's and women's jeans. So, women jeans. So, I'm going to leave it as show because I want to show that uh, categories. And here it says filter with children. So, if you want to extend the filter once a category is selected and it, uh, when you have here the tooltip, you can... Uh, hover over see what it says and if you want you can also click into the link and it will open up the uh, documentation for the product or wherever you are after that we have the used custom tags if we want all of those pro features i'm going to skip of course we have the sort by so you can change the uh, sort by for the categories we have the order by custom so count if you want to show the numbers and show the numbers for the parents as well as the children i'm going to disable that i don't like it hide the categories without products i want that because i don't want to show empty categories product categories if you want to select those that will be appear and make them default restrict the filtering categories result to only those that are selected exclude the categories that you don't want by ids so the search i'm going to add that so it will add the search text here and you can type what you want and you can change the text that says search into a different one you can hide the child categories you can display all the categories every time and the layout is vertical and 200 pixels let's click save and see immediately how it looks in the front end and as you can see uh, here are the categories and you have to scroll down in order to show all of those because those uh, this box is 200 pixel now i'm going to click here inside the men and you're going to see that the default categories widget from wordpress displays every category that we have inside here but here we have only the categories that inside the men i don't want to show the categories for the whole website i only want to show the child categories for that uh, category that i have selected and this is very good especially if you have multiple child categories inside your website okay let's go back to everything and i'm going to change also the height for these uh, filters so i'm going to leave it something like 500 pixel let's save that and let's go and refresh here the page and see how it looks now and as you can see i don't have to scroll anymore if you want you can make it a little bit less and you will need just to scroll a little bit okay let's continue i'm going to close the product categories and i will add the next one which will be the attributes let's add that and i have two attributes inside this website let's open that and select the attribute i'm going to select color for this moment and let's go down here and we will see that this is the color attribute i'm going to add of course the label let's click yes so as open and no yes so as close for the mobile here it says select so i have to change that to color and probably save in order to uh, change that and let's continue so on front end as we have checkbox list we have radio buttons list drop down multiple drop down colors buttons text switch and slider of course all the pro versions are not available inside here and here i will select the checkbox list which is multiple select for the uh, attributes i can use custom tags if i want i can order by custom i can hide the attributes without products and i want to enable that and this is the same for the active filter so once the filter is activated it will hide and also you can hide the filters that have only one item because this is the selected one I'm not going to do that here because I think that it will confuse some 
uh, visitors into the WooCommerce website. But if you have a custom solution and you want to hide that, you can do it from here. This is the show count. Then we have the attributes that you can use and show only those that are selected. Make selected attributes as default. Logic for those that are clicked. We have or or end. And this means that the or uh, is uh, multiple selected and uh, any of those can be met, so we can have selected the black and the blue, and it will show both black and blue colors inside our products. But if I select here and, it means that the product must have black and blue, both of those colors, in order to appear into the uh, website. Sort by if I want to select something different. So search if I want to search here. It's the same like the search that we put into the categories. I'm not going to do that as here. Always display all attributes if you want to display them everywhere and the layout will be vertical and of course we have the height. If I add here horizontal then I can select and have it something like that. Okay, vertical and of course for the uh, horizontal it will go into, for the vertical, sorry, it can have also columns if you want. So I'm going to leave it as 200 pixels and I'm good with that and I'm going to add the next one which will be another attribute for the size. Let's click here and let's select here size. I'm going to change that into size and I'm going to select yes as open and yes as close. Let's save that. And of course, this has pretty much the same uh, settings because this is again an attribute. So I'm going to hide products without, uh, hide filters without products and the same for the active. And I think I'm not going to change anything else. Let's go back here. Let's close that and see what else we have here. So we have also the product tags if we want. We have the author featured on sale, stock status and rating. So you can add everything here. The search by text is a pro option, so you cannot have the search by text into the free version. After that, let's save it once again and let's go for the options. Into the options, you can see that we have four uh, tabs that we can select here. And here is the main one for all the blog. So display on pages, all WooCommerce pages or whatever you want. And of course, you can select only to have the specific pages, which is pro, specific categories, all pages or sub product categories, product tags, product page, all WooCommerce pages, which is the default one and what I'm going to leave it right now. Display on pages apply for short code if you want to only show it with the short code. These are pro versions, but you can see it has a floating mode, open filters one by one and redirect after filter selection. We have display filter on for all devices or you can select that it can only be available for the desktop and not for the mobile. You can force to show only those current filters on that page. You can uh, change the breakpoint for the mobile desktop. You can hide filters on shop pages without products. So even if you have added into the sidebar and you go into somewhere where it's no products inside that category, you will hide all the features, all the filters, sorry. You can set the numbers that are uh, displayed into the product page. You can set the number of products per row. You can enable Ajax or remove it if you want. Product list loader selector, product container selector, force theme templates and don't use shortcode settings. Let's go to the next tab, which is the buttons. And as you can see, it says that filter button. So you have to click filter every time you want uh, these filters to be activated. And I can switch that to auto filtering. After that, I can show the clear button underneath here. And it says clear, so I can uh, uh, change that to a different uh, word. I can reset all the filters on the page if I want. And if there is an other filters as well, you can reset everything. And you can uh, place that into the top, into the bottom or both. And of course, we have also the uh, order, which is filter clear or clear filter, which means that it will push the button to the end of that. Let's leave it as it was before. I'm going to save it again. And then we have the content. So here you can search and filter every time for all the products in the website, no matter where you are. So clear block, if you want to add a clear uh, next to every block that you have, let's see how it looks, uh, this one, because I do like this one. And if I go and select something like bug, it will say here clear and I can clear only this uh, 
block the categories. Let's go back and then we have recount products by selecting filter and I do want that. Recount max and minimum price by selecting a filter and I also want that and let's save that and see what it does because I do select that every time. Let's refresh and we will see. Once I select here a bug, this uh, price will change into the available prices that we have. So now the minimum price is $100 based on this product and the maximum is $150 because those are the products that we have here. If I select to clear the filters, it will change accordingly to the products that I have here every time. Okay, then we have the show parameters without products as disabled. So it will show the filter, but it will show them as disabled. So you will know that this filter is available, but not selected, uh, cannot be selected at this moment. After the filter, sort by title and check items go to the top. I don't want that because uh, this will mess up uh, the visitors. And if you have something especially done for you, it's a custom-made solution, then you may want to do something like that. Check items in bold, so everything that you check will go in bold. Let's see how it looks right now. Let's click shoes here. And as you can see, it didn't change into bold, but I'm going to save that. And probably go into appearance and customize to remove now the WooCommerce default uh, blocks. Sorry, not customize, into the widgets. So I don't have to scroll down every time. Let's go to the WooCommerce site and sidebar and remove here the categories and also product by price and also this here. Okay, update. And let's go now and refresh here. And I will see when I select something, it will go and change that to bold. Okay change the text when no products are found you can change the filtering by variation attributes these are pro options but you can see that you can display more so more uh, if you have more products to show you can select to display selected filters and auto scroll if you want use filter by uh, title click so it will hide and show when you click the title and not only the icon that we have let's close, close that so if i go and click the title color it will collapse and it will open again if i click it and if you don't want that you can select only to click here you can use the filter titles as slug for the filter clear buttons you can filter on category list display only children of the current category apply parameters from the address bar to display filter items here it has the multi-block uh, taxonomy logic and you can change that for all the fields that are inside your uh, block and enable third-party pre-filter if you want let's go to the next one which is the loader and you can enable the loader i'm going to disable that and into the pro version you can change the loader to something different let's save that and now let's go into the design. As you can see, we have a ton of features as well here. So we can change the filter width, which is for the whole block, for the desktop and for mobile, and the block width, which is every field that you add as a filter, desktop and mobile as well. We have the blog height, which is the whole blog again, the padding for the child list, we have CSS editor, JavaScript editor, don't load font awesome and use theme style. If I check this, it will change a little bit how it looks and let's refresh here and you will see that it changed a little bit but I will lose some functionality I think let's click here no as I can see it works okay so you can uh, have all those filters and check that to look exactly what you would supposed to to have uh, into your theme you can test that and see how it feels let's save that after that, we have the blocks, which is a pro. We have titles, which is again pro buttons and floating mode, which are pro features. Now let's go into the settings. And here we can see that it has the indexing product parameters, So you can click to start indexing. You can disable the automatic calculation when you edit products. If you uh, have many products in your website, this is a good solution that you can schedule when you want to start that to be indexed and you can do that only to the night but keep in mind that if you start indexing only at night then uh, whenever you add a product it will not be available immediately into your website 
it's a solution if you have too many products inside a website and it slows down everything. And as you can see, it has also settings for statistics, a set number of displayed products. You can move the sidebar to the top for the mobile version. So even if your theme doesn't support something like that, and if you go into your mobile and see that the filters are at the bottom of your products, then you can switch this and save that in order to move them on top. You can display a message about no founding products, generate HTML for accessibility, disable clearing for the WP Rocket CAS, and disable plugin sorting. That was all with the features. As you saw, it has a ton of features. Even in the free version, I think it's a far better solution than anything that you can find at this moment inside WordPress. So if you're using WooCommerce inside your website, you should probably check something like this as a solution to filter out your products. It has a ton of features that you can use. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.